hello there and welcome back to the channel dreamy being here hope you're doing well and that you're having a good day and i'm back with life is strange episode 3 yeah episode 3 part 1 in the previous theory. episodes of life is strange we call the film little pieces of time because Max wants everybody to see I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. I'm going to be sorry someday. Fucking bitch. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelma and Louise, you're my business now. That's and Rachel's I... bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <sighs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everyone. Miss Coffin, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Yeah, we know, we know. Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Okay, but first, let's see if we can see her. My, my, I don't see. Will we see her? There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. <sighs> all this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. Well, maybe you saw and All roads are leading to my tornado vision. I don't know, I can't see anything on my <laughs> screen right now. It's too... Brought, I'd say. Bright. Brought. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Hmm. 
Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. Yeah. If she does. Man, I really turned a molehill into a mountain. I feel bad for Mr. Jefferson about this. Mm-hmm. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Well, we'll see. First I saved Chloe, then Kate, and now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, hmm. nosh on this. So cute. So fluffy. Ew! Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Let's check again. Hmm. I'll see you later. Jeepers, I am so freaking tired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I sound like a woman. But crime does not delay. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. Yay. You have time. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Why the music is suddenly so spooky? Or maybe there? It's so spooky suddenly. I win. I get it. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Because she's a bitch. So much hypocrite. Indeed. Do they really need that crap on the yes, door? Yes, Max. Kate's still alive. Yeah, but she's maybe hiding something. So. Hello. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. <laughs> I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <sighs> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. I won't say a word. I swear to dog. I believe you, Max. Besides Victoria, you're the only one who asked me about my mom in the hospital. That meant a lot to me. I'm my own person, too. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're like weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that yeah, roof. Yeah, yeah. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Okay, bye. Ugh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Yes. Into the devil's lair. Yeah. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. My cookies? Victoria stole my cookies. 
Now I can't take them back because she'll know I did it. Victoria's a cookie monster. <sighs> These socks cost more than my wardrobe. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Yeah. Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Well, oh well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. <laughs> Victoria must have her own power if she found time to steal this from my room. Good job. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret. She's a geek. <laughs> Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Yay. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, <sighs> I'm getting paranoid. Oh, she's glowing, but I can't take hidden picture. Aww. Ah, here we go. The fucking bitch. I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. Alright. Who wrote that? Dana? Juliet? Let me compare. Hey, can you come in here for a minute? Maybe... I think it's Juliet. Ah, Dana. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. I love her so much. Hey Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. I was lucky. That's all. No girl. That was not luck. You made a choice to save her. Like a superhero. <laughs> then maybe it's time to catch the bad guys. So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell. And I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later.
Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Aw. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Mm, you're not, Max. At all. So fluffy. And say nut. Gotcha. That's so fluffy. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. <laughs> One sec, would you? Oh, and by the way. As again, as always. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's nothing but tools. Nothing here. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? ghost more like a scary punk asshole hey chloe i didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof i don't think i need you to prank me tonight okay sorry but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend kate saved herself i couldn't even use my power my head felt like it was being crushed and then i had no clue what to say to her on that roof don't be so modest rock star Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. <laughs> and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plans. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? <sighs> 
I don't Sorry. see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hate. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert grown here. So much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, mm. Mr. Jefferson. You fucking Thank bitch. you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well... How does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max. Who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her? I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo down. <laughs> we would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that. <laughs> This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Mm. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Mm. <sighs> Dude, sorry. I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I get charges for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. Yay. Laggy, laggy. What the fuck? The 
security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. <sighs> Sorry. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. <sighs> no keys here. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. Nothing to see here. Desolation. Crap. Boring. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise, stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No. I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, no, no. Stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the help. This sucks ass! Goddamn door! Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. <laughs> Race is on. See you soon. Okay. So. Sugar. For the kind of tape and blah blah blah. And here we go. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Release the Kraken! It doesn't work in French. It's all mine anyway. <laughs> because in English it's Kraken. Only three more items to go. While in French is Krakenet. So it doesn't work at all. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. You deserve way more than this for taking on Nathan, but every little grade counts. Ooh, sugar. Yeah. You're halfway home, Max. I never said they were great, troll. Um, shoot. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Mm. Good evening, Bish Fish. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Thanks, Fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. Here's the sodium chloride box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your <gasps> For once, Use the damn chair. He's clever. Because as I told you in my previous video, sometimes she Only one used more ingredient left. a power for absolutely nothing. And she wasted so much time. Stupid. But yeah, that was clever. This is like a scene in a horror film. Indeed. I say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson gets screwed. Nice going, Max. We don't care, Max. Look, oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <sighs> Said Max, the art critic. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some stuff. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. <laughs> Jefferson is impressed. Yeah. The tape is mine. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. Wait a second. Oh, yeah. Oops. A long time ago, yeah. in a girl's room right here. Take it easy on the door, Mom. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. <laughs> Hmm. 
How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock? Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan? Anybody. I'm on the case. I certainly... can't use this. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Only two more files to go. Looks like an oil painting spill. Awful. Say hello to my little friend. Say good night to the bad guy. You're not so tacky up close. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Weeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Huh. <laughs> like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. <sighs> Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. I found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescott's dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescott's always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not <laughs> getting the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? 
Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. <laughs> it's not a good thing, you know, to steal money, but... As Max threatened um, Frank, and as I really need to get more info about his relationship with Rachel, I think it's the better choice that I can make. Frank knows things about Rachel and there he might go. talk about <laughs> has been paid, right? You are Supermax. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich, and nobody busted us. So? Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. And that's it for today. Hope you enjoy it. And the next part will be a the, 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 in three days as always since then have a good day and take care bye bye